Hello, Active Sage here on the Sage channel, and once again we are greeted by another hangar that was recently updated in version 0.9 of Star Citizen, basically the Arena Commander. And this used to be the Deluxe Hangar. Now it is known as the Revel and York Hangar. And actually, I believe if I turn around, there should be a door here, and I thought there was branding on it. Apparently not. So, like the previous hangar, I went through the review hangar. Let's start it with the door, because it's a door. And instantly, I'm nowhere near as impressed and taken in by it. The other one had those beautiful zigzags in it. This one has wood, which... Yeah, I'm not I'm not too keen on the wood. It's pretty cool that you can see where the light's hitting it and the grain and stuff. It's sort of different in the spec and all that. That's, that's pretty damn cool. That's nice. There's a big old seam up there, but it is wood, so you'd expect seams where two pieces of wood end. If you want to see some crazy seams, you can see them here. It uh, looks a bit not right, that seam I would actually expect to line up, it doesn't, but uh, I don't know, it's pretty cool. Get your little uh, golf ball stuck into the wall, I mean there's some pretty cool here with pan detailing here with paneling and stuff, it's a pretty nice door, but uh, wow, it doesn't pull me in as previously, or as quickly as the arrow view one does. It's a nice door, but I don't know, something about it, I think it's just the fact that the wood I find is sort of just, I don't know, for some reason it does pull me in, I find it boring, frankly. But it is pretty cool. It's nice that they got the arrows and a bit of design to it. Overall, it's a pretty cool door. If the wood was something else, I think I'd like it even more. Anyway, let's go ahead and look over here. Here's its holographic viewer. This is actually new, and the previous ones were pretty bog standard. This one's actually uh, pretty new. It's got this little cool bump out here, the caution thing, moving parts. Not quite sure that's real. Let's actually turn it on. No, no, I saw nothing move. I feel lied to. Pretty cool, though, that they have a custom one of these. And what else do we have? Well, let's start actually from the back of the hangar and move forward into stars because you can see out of the hangar. Now, this is currently another LOD issue, level of detail, where the doors don't actually show up until you get closer to them. So if I was to run over here quickly, you'll actually see the doors sort of fade into existence. This is designed to save on games performance. Things in the distance will fade out. Unfortunately, the doors are sort of big, and when they fade out, you sort of notice. Anyway. Let's uh, go ahead and look at the screen and then we'll actually take this elevator up because this one has a lot of very, very tall elevators. So, once again, at the screen we have tons and tons of wood and then we have these very beautiful, nice curves coming down here and then popping back up and then going down there. And you'll notice that this, you know, it sort of splits here, but there it doesn't. So it sort of, I don't know, it sort of beautifully balances it, actually. The fact that you have this sort of stuff up here and not there and then you got nothing in there and you got stuff in here the screen is what i'm talking about now it's pretty cool this whole hangar actually reminds me a lot of like a really nice airport very nice to visit wouldn't want to live there it's really really expensive airport with all the wood and stuff especially in space eh even though this place might be on earth given its amount of wood or at least it'll be on another planet where they can source wood more easily or else i suspect this would have cost a huge fortune which then again maybe it does Anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Floors are pretty flat. There's not like a lot of indentation. I mean, there is a lot of indentation with the... Once again, this isn't all just in the texture. That actually looks like they've carved it into the ground to put all this stuff in. They're very cool, but... I don't know, it's not pulling me in so much as like actually having panels that look like you could access them in the floor. Even though that looks like I could nearly pop it and start pulling stuff apart. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop in the elevator. And you can see, much like the previous hanger or that I was just in the arrow view, we have a nice little screen here that shows us where we are. Unfortunately, still no interaction. Once we're in it, unfortunately, we do not have any screens to keep us going. But what we do have are these amazing lights. As they pass the floor, they light things up, and it is very, very beautiful. That was a very quick ride. You know, there's still space up above us. There's cool things in the wall here. And once we're out, voila, you can see the elevators indicating, hey, it's right in front of you. Let's go ahead and try to trick this thing, shall we? Like we have in the past. Oh, no, come on. Yes, I made it. Woo, I nearly looked through myself. And you see there it's indicating the elevator is going down to the bottom with a few little arrow things. Pretty cool. Now, unfortunately, I think once it gets to the bottom... Oh, okay, it does actually show it's at the bottom and not here. That is very, very cool. Very, very cool. Anyway, let's go on. This is where you have your nice little storage thing if you have one of those. Your towel and your character selection thing. Which, of course, like usual, I'm sure those will all be moved elsewhere eventually. And then we come into this nice control room, which appears to have had a level of detail freakout. Let's just give it a second here, and hopefully that'll update. There we go, that took a minute, but it finally popped in. So there we go, we got our nice control panels. I, uh, 
The silhouette of this control panel, I like a lot. If you were to come over here and look at it, it's got this nice little slope there and then a sharper slope there. It's very, very cool. I like this little cut in here with the glass and this caution thing like we have down below with the moving parts and the fact that you got that sort of mirror. This is basically like a similar thing to how what we had downstairs. But the actual control panels, I really am not liking much. It's a cool design to have them cut in like that, but I would expect maybe more here like maybe they'd be carved up in the same sort of thing like you had that piece there and you'd mirrored it and flipped it and so down and over so you'd have it sort of i don't know just uh, it seems very empty for a control area the middle one here is very nice you got this big thing of course i'm sure this will change to be something functional in the future and these are pretty cool too but overall there's a slight lack of actual controls on the bottom here Nice chairs, though. They don't slide out like the other ones do. You'd have to move them manually, but given the amount of space here, you could just move around them. And maybe the idea is this will all be holographically controlled with your hands in the air, or at least that's the story idea behind it. Also, branding! Lots and lots of branding for Revel in New York, as you'd expect in a high-end place. Very, very cool. And also, I just noticed this sort of, like, circular... No, they're hex grids. There's a hex grid on these walls. I, I didn't notice before. That's very, very nice. Very, very beautiful. Hard to see, but... You see it a lot better in sort of the specular there. Ah, that's very beautiful. And you got your expensive flowers, apparently, that need to be kept in their own little environments. That's actually very nice and very pretty. I like that a lot. And then we have another door, which is very bland. But I, for some reason, I actually like it more than the one down below. Below? Below. Just because of how simple it is, in a way. It sort of reminds me of something from the Star Trek Enterprise. You got a nice little slope over it, and then you got one that sticks out farther and slopes over it. They got a nice little divider here actually carved into it. Looks like they might even have a bit of dividing wood, yeah, right there along the edge to give it a bit of a bevel. It's very, very nice. And a little cut in at the bottom, too. That way it has some detail. Ooh, I like this door. I like this one more down more than the one down below. Maybe it fits with the clean overall feel of this hangar better than the one down below that sort of felt like it was trying to be more industrialist. Hmm, I don't know. And I guess that sort of makes sense that the one down below would be more industrial than the one up here. Going on my theory from the previous video, the idea that the doors up here would lead to your more personal stuff, whereas the ones down below would just lead sort of out into the cityscape or wherever. Hmm. Pretty cool view from here, by the way. The glass, uh, I'm not as impressed as I am with this one. It's just straight up and down with a nice little curve here in between the walls, but I don't know. It's, it's pretty good. The ceiling here is beautiful as can be, though. The fact that it's got the nice glass opening right in the middle, but then it's also got these nice little supports, or I don't even know what to call them. This little carved-in area up here, and then it almost looks like supports coming out from the corners there to the center. It's very nice. I love the lighting in there. Uh, anyway, let's move on from this. Unfortunately, these buttons here don't do anything. I li I'd love to be able to press them and go somewhere else, but no dice. I see the lights on the ceiling, too, and the fact that those are actually carved in there oh, is pretty damn cool. Anyway, moving on from here. Unfortunately, unlike the other hangar, we cannot take a nice long walk from the control room around the big walkways. Both the hangars we've seen so far, that I've gone through so far, the self-land and the aero view, from the sort of control area, you could walk around everything. Unfortunately, from this one, you cannot do such a thing. You have to actually go do some stupidness. So let's go over here. You can see it's automatically called the elevator up. Again, I wish I had buttons to control that. And if we look down there, you can see the elevator coming up to us. Very nice. And of course, the door's open, so let's step into it. And the door's closed, and we shall go downwards. Nice fan in the ceiling there. like it. And there we go. Pop those doors open, and away we go. Now, to get to other areas in this hangar, you can, of course, go ahead and run through these big openings here to go to your other ships. But we're more interested in this moment at the sort of upper areas. Because we've basically seen the area down here. It's pretty simple and straightforward. The only other thing there would be to show is a big door over there, but we'll be getting to that in a minute. Because we want to go to the upper areas that are more personal, yes? Well, there's actually two different sets of them, and some of those sets aren't actually connected as I'm about to show you here, going into this elevator. Now, you think this would just bring me up to the same floor I was just on a minute ago. Unfortunately, it's not going to. It's going to take us up to a same floor, technically, but it's not connected. So, we pop this door open, and we have a nice little sitting area here with these amazing little sand things here with glass over them that run all along the back of these chairs. Very, very strange and unique design, but I like it a lot. A lot of couch space here. In fact, a huge amount of couch space here, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. 
considering there's no way up here. Oh, that's a nice thing up there. But there's no way up here besides these elevators, and these elevators can only be accessed from the hangar. So I would expect there to be sort of like an access door right here behind this wall into those back hallways I'm suspecting would exist or something, but no such luck with that. So it would be sort of impractical to try to come up here to sit with what I would assume would be a big bunch of people. Especially if you got that many people, I'm suspecting it might be a party environment, and that's a bit of a way to bring a drink. Anyway, let's go ahead and head back down, because that elevator just brings us down too, and go across to the other area. And actually, I should probably point out this interesting look here behind these big slanted walls. It's actually pretty damn awesome. Seeing the pipes there and stuff is pretty cool as well, the fact that it's sort of hidden from here. The only complaint I'd have with this, really, is just that I'd expect there to be more wall detail back here. If this is supposed to be a sort of hidden area, I'd almost expect it to be carved in more into the walls, but it's, overall, I love the idea of having these sort of metal struts to hold out this just completely for aesthetic purposes thing here. I love it. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. I love that. Anyway, let's go up to the other floor, but first we're actually going to go by the big doors because we have to actually go by the big front main hangar doors to get up there. It's extremely impractical. So let's take our elevator down once again, the cool lights passing by as I'm sure you notice there. Nice wooden floors, by the way. I actually do like the look of these. Not sure I'd want them in my hangar, though. So let's go ahead, run all the way down, past these little storage containers. They're pretty cool storage containers, actually. But it's a bit silly that they have them all wrapped up. I'm, I don't know. I'm hoping, like the other hangers, that you'll be able to customize it eventually. By the way, I just felt I should run over here. This is, of course, where we were to expand. If we were to continue expanding out, this would become another hangar area here. You can see, actually, right where it's sort of this line here, where it slides into everything else. That's sort of where the next hangar would just tile over. But I love the way this looks, the fact that it's got the bright light shining down. Sort of immersion breaking if you look directly at it, up at it, because you'd expect to be able to see some sort of light source, but overall it's a very, very beautiful look. Anyway, let's actually get to those doors that I've been saying I'd get to for quite some time now. More of this cool stuff here. Doesn't carry on as far that way, I'd sort of expect it to. Hmm. Anyway, here we go, the big old door, and this door, something about it, I think it's actually the scale feels off. It looks like it should be a door where the person is maybe half of its height tall. So the person would be up to the top of that white line there. And I think the reason is because the details on this door are so big, like this bolt here. The other door in the arrow view hangar had that big thing that would like looked like it's supposed to pull out of the big bolt or something and then slide into the ground. Whereas this is just a big simple bolt. So you don't get the same feeling of scale with it. It's just a big spinny bolt thing that looks like it ties into this. That maybe that spins and unlocks something on the inside of that. And I don't know. It depends. If a lot of the stuff moves when this door opens, that's going to change how I feel about it a lot because that'll give it more scale, I think, and at least more feeling. But right now, well, actually, right now, I can. It sort of looks like it's just an opening in there. Actually, no, there's definitely a wall bit there. It's a bit strange. I'm not that impressed with this door. I do like the fact that it's got this whatever it is here at the bottom, which indicates maybe that when the door opens, this bit here that we're looking at along the bottom actually drops down or maybe pops up or something. Maybe that's mirrored at the top. Can't really tell. Doesn't look like it. It's hard to see how this door would open. It doesn't look like it has so much of a slit to slide into. Maybe it does. I guess it does slightly there, yes. Yeah. So I guess this whole thing would... This one here would definitely slide out that way. That one there would probably slide that way. And actually, if I was to guess, now that I think about it, yeah, I bet you this part here on the base with this big seam does drop down, and then this huge door here probably goes down into it. That would make sense then. So that door there opens that way, that one opens that way, and this one drops down, if I was to guess right now. And I think there's just enough space for it to fit into the wall without encroaching on another hangar. I'm not quite sure. Hmm. Interesting nonetheless. Shall we go ahead and head all the way up to the next floor now? Since I think we're about done working with this, or looking at this door. So, actually, I don't know, I might be wrong on how some of that opens. That big square rectangular bit right there at the top. I don't actually know where that would go. Because if this whole door thing slides that way... Oh, well, maybe it doesn't go all the way and it's flush into the wall. I'd assume it would stop them before that thing actually hit the wall because I don't see a cut in for it. So that would make sense. It would definitely work better with the other hangar then. So let's go ahead and hop up here. And this is going to be a longer elevator ride than previously. i try to ignore that thing that was flickering in and out of existence at the ceiling there. And it's actually a pretty nice view. It does remind me a lot of a airport, like a really expensive airport. 
<laughs> and then get blocked off for a second there as I went through that solid piece. And now we are up at more of the sort of walk around civilian -y area. We got these cool pieces of art over here that sort of glitch out when I get close to them. I don't know, maybe they're supposed to look like some sort of metal you can't focus on, but I suspect they're currently just bugged out. Pretty cool nonetheless, though, the idea of having something like that. Uh, let's move on over here. More plants. Lots and lots of plants. Your uh, fees, if these were real plants, to keep them watered and healthy might be fairly high. Unless they all are wired in to the ground with their own little plumbing stuff, maybe they wouldn't be as expensive. Also, I'm just noticing now we have carpet up here, actual proper carpet. Very, very much like a actual expensive airport. Hmm. Anyway, let's move over here. We got these huge light fixture things dangling down that I'm sure you noticed when we were down below. They're illuminating everything down there. And then we can come around here, and this will be a nice little passageway down into more of it, just like an overview area. The amount of dead space in this hangar is just incredible. Just the idea... I, I, I don't know, the other ones felt like they mostly had purpose, where you maybe have Overlook and a few engineers. This one seems like you're inviting a few thousand people over to have some big silly party all the time. Or maybe you're just wanting to show off your opulency, but Jesus Christ, the amount of open space here is insane. Absolutely insane. We got more of these chairs over here, by the way. I'd figure now that these are, I can walk around them, I'd go over them a bit more. Because they are pretty impressive, the fact, the idea of having a little sand garden things or whatever under the glass is pretty cool this one actually doesn't even look like sand but the ones over here look a bit more sandy yeah, at least i thought they did but it's pretty cool and the fact that the sand would run all the way along the back here whoop, to the other side that's pretty cool not sure i'd want it in my hangar again but it's still pretty damn cool and i love the idea of this here with a slant coming down that i was pointing out earlier and then this big sort of it's almost like a big v thing with a flat bottom Ah, it's pretty cool. And here's more of those symbols. But these ones are actually... Look at that! That's quite clever, isn't it? It's cut out of metal to give the same shape as those things that were pretty glitchy on the wall way over there. It's pretty dang cool. Actually, I think they're... Oh yeah, they're different. They're like up, upside down if they're flipped. Up and down. Huh! That's pretty cool. It's all pretty dang cool. By the way, just since I'm over here, I'll run over the far edge and we can look down on where we were earlier up on that platform. And you can see just how separated that whole area feels from everything we're at now. Especially considering there's so many more chairs up there. That's the sort of chair arrangement I'd actually expect to see up here. Or, and maybe some little stuff like that down there with maybe, I don't know, some scanners or something. It just seems so strange to have all those chairs there, but not up here. By the way, I just love the fact that the lighting runs along the edges of these slightly slanted rectangles. There's a special word for that, I've forgotten it now, but ah, it's beautiful. Mm, okay, let's move on. While we're moving, we'll just look at the ceiling, I think. We can see the fans here. Very, very unlike the other ones. These fans are actually... Well, they're the sort of thing you'd spend around $1,000 for one if you were to get one in your room. And these don't even have the LEDs in the middle. They're pretty damn awesome, though. You can see the idea that maybe they lead up to a crawl space behind the glass there with the lights in it. It's... I like the idea of having this tiered stuff where you got your sort of metals and glass, and that's sort of just is hiding everything else. Even your lights are mostly hidden behind the glass to keep them from being directly in front of you. It's pretty awesome. Pretty damn awesome. And you got little running lights down here where the light doesn't seem to be quite lining up right. I'm sure they'll get that fixed eventually. And you got these big panels in the middle that are sort of hiding the tubes and stuff. It's, it's a lot of cool stuff. I like that stuff where it's like, it's, the technology is still there, it's just gently hidden behind very beautiful aesthetic things. I like that a lot. I'm still not too keen on the wood. It's not my taste, that's why. Oh, by the way, that looks like a dangerous thing! Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire! Um, yeah, I was about to say, it looks like there's a bit of a gap there. And what do you know, there was a bit of a gap there. And now I'm in a area I didn't think I could get to so easily. Oh, Jesus. I, uh, yeah, I didn't expect that. Now that we can get a closer look at this, and we're noticing, or I'm noticing some, uh, inconsistencies where this thing's coming out and not actually seems to be touching that. That's slightly unfortunate, as I would have expected that actually to touch it. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty interesting stuff, though. That's some weirdness there, too, where you see that blackness there. I'd expect that to be the indented area, but it's not. Then again, possibly, yeah, possibly it is elsewhere, but it's not actually indented here, just because 
Well, nobody's probably supposed to be jumping up here. You would have died, surely, if you had fallen for real. That is indented, though. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and carry on with where we were up above. My head just went through my own body. That was terrifying. Oh, and look, some floor detail that wasn't over there when I had first started looking. Look at this. It looks like another drain. I actually quite like this. Hmm. By the way, my graphic settings are on high, not very high, so... Some of the texture work might look a little bit better if you're on very high. I'm just waiting for this elevator to come down. Again, I wish I could press the buttons to call it, but it's all automated. There we go. And that would have been a perfect chance to actually look at the bottom of those elevators where they had those big circular lights there. It's pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and head up. Pretty nice sound of the elevator. Very comforting. There we go. And head right out here to where we were earlier. And I believe we were looking at the ceiling before I got distracted by a gap and fell nearly to my death. It actually looks like the gap's probably not even supposed to really be there. Maybe this didn't line up quite correctly and I nearly fell again. That would have been brilliant. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on moving. We got a nice big lighting area here that's sort of... I actually love the lighting here where, on the ground where it's actually only vaguely lighting up there. It's very diffuse. Because the lighting is, of course, coming out and then reflecting down onto it. It's very, very nice. And I was about to say, why is there wood up there? But it's just the reflection being a bit silly and reflecting the, well, a basic reflection map, I guess. As you can see through the fan opening, there is just a large open space up there. Very, very cool. Also, I would like to point out just how damn beautiful it is to see this curve come down like this from the ceiling. I love that little curve coming down. I wouldn't like it if it was all the way straight across, but the fact that they have it broken up with these little gaps here, and then the curve itself has all these lines running through it that are actually carved into it, actually modeled in, is very, very nice. I love it. And then we have something here that reminds me of things I love very much. It's very, very cool, especially if we look at it like that. All right, there, perfecto, eh? But, um, God, it's even spinning. Is very cool. I wonder if I can do something stupid and fit inside this. Can I? Can I? Can I? It, oh, 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 no. No, I can't, which is good. It's pretty cool. I love the fact that there's actually a little light glow shooting up from it as well and illuminating little dots in the air, or at least I guess that's what it's trying to simulate. Maybe it's holograms of some sort just for looks. It's pretty damn awesome though. I like it a lot. Again, a lot of dead space. <laughs> hidden or all around here where I would expect there to be tables and whatnot like we have down there up here but unfortunately since this is sort of the same piece as that wall over there just tiled it's of course just going to be empty but of course unlike that one where we had the thing on the wall it gives us one of these awesome little marky things markery things anyway that's about it for this area at this point it of course Oh, by the way, I, I guess I should point out they do have these beautiful little holographic things you can look through. I don't believe you can jump through them. No, I'd, I'd say probably not. Well, let me actually try to get up there again, shall I? And if we just back up and run and jump. Nope, definitely can't get through them. But they're still pretty damn cool, almost like being underwater, and those are bubbles shooting upwards or something. And I like the fact that they have two different colors along the edges of it, where this one is white and that one is dark. Maybe this one should have been a some shade in between it to break... Wow, that's scary. To break up the walls from the support beams. Maybe. I don't know. Either way, though, it is a very beautiful hangar. Not exactly my cup of tea, but it is nice to see it all. Oh, and by the way, here we are at the center area again where the control room is directly across. This is where your fish tank and trophy cabinet thing go. Sort of out of the way from everything else. So if you want to see your fish in this hangar, got to do a bit of running to get to them. I was about to wrap it up, but I figured one last thing I should point out is these nice little tables and chairs where it's almost like consultation things. I don't exactly know what the heck they're expecting to be happening here. I was thinking party earlier, and you got sort of more party stuff here set up than down there on those big platforms. But then you get over here and it's like... I don't know, I feel like I'm visiting a really expensive lawyer or something. It's pretty odd. It's got the sand and stuff, no computer. I don't know, it's just odd to have this stuff here. But you got more space flowers and then little capsules and whatnot. And more awesome glowy lightness from the top and whatever this is. Anyway guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. And to end this, I'm going to really quickly try to jump on top of my constellation down there. If I could just get up onto here and not fail miserably there we go 
that was a terrible jump and I don't think I went far enough forward anyway. Anyway guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Also, I would like to point out just how itchy my nose is.